So guys, I um, I bought another collection. We got slabs, vintage boosters, boxes of promo cards, and of course, there is a binder. And look, Vault-X, only the best, right? And today we're gonna run through this collection. I'm gonna show you some of the highlights, which are amazing. There's some tag teams in here. Chef's kiss. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna let you know exactly how much I paid, and you guys can tell me whether or not I actually got a good deal here. Plus, as a bonus, I'm gonna give away one of the slabs from today's video to someone watching. So if you wanna win the slab, just make sure you drop a like on the video, make sure you subscribe with your alerts on, and then drop a comment down below. And I'll let the winner know, and I'll announce the winner in an upcoming live stream here on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Make sure those alerts are on so you don't miss that live. Firstly, guys, I just want to say a big shout out to a long term supporter of the channel, Shane. It was Shane's collection right here that I bought. It's actually Shane's and his son's. Basically, uh, he supported the channel for a long time, massive into Pokemon, got into collecting it from his son. But his son has decided he doesn't want to collect Pokemon now and wants to collect uh, sneakers. Yeah, I know, like a money pit. Like, good luck to you, Shane, on that one, I tell you. So, he wanted to get some cash back in to start collecting sneakers, so reached out to me about buying this collection, gave me a price, I just paid what he wanted, and here we are. We've got the collection here now, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to go through it. I think we're gonna check out some of the slabs first. Right, though, let's get looking at some of these slabs. So, we've got a few different things. Let's have a look here now. We've got some get graded slabs, and I'm not a big fan of get graded, I'm not gonna lie. But, it's so good. Jigs, weirdly, really, that's like the chase card from uh, the Sun and Moon set, isn't it? I believe in there. We've got a nice Pidgeot EX. I think I might actually cross grade a couple of these to ace myself. Um, I feel like they might do a little bit better um, in regards to like adding a little bit of value and stuff like that. Also, I think they'll look cool. Some for my personal collection, anyway. We've got some pokey grade slabs, and here we've got a Vivid Voltage in a 10. I think that's the old label, yeah, because they've changed it now. It's not actually metallic anymore. Parallel City Staff card. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. That's a pretty tidy one. We've got, now this is cool. So, I did a box break um, at London Card Show and we opened uh, the Majestic Dawn booster box up there, actually, funny enough. And uh, we graded the hits with SGC and that was one of the hits. So, we've actually got one back. I don't know, I might keep this as a little memento for myself. I'm not sure. Or maybe it'll be the one I give away. I don't know. Well, we'll decide in a minute which one we're giving away. We have the Shining Magic Carp there. That's actually a shout for a giveaway. These XY era um, cards, like Secret Rares and Full Arts, look so cool. Look at the texture in that Mewtwo. How nice is that? In a nine as well on that one. This is a nice card. See, this, I think, has got high grade. I think this is going to be one that I'm going to try a cross grade for to have with an ace lib. I just think it would look really nice. And these are so hard to get in a good grade as well, aren't they, these? And there's a... Oh, there's something in there. We've got Sylveon VMAX, very nice trainer gallery. Any evolutions, like these sort of big ones, these texture finish, they're always a really good thing to buy. Um, evolution cards are just going nuts. Nice little Snorlax there, the 10, we do like that. Oh, and we've got the birds. This is one of my all-time favorite promo cards from Pokemon. Okay, we've got some more stuff. So we've got a Kangaskhan EX. That's another one of potential giveaway. I'm actually gonna put that one to one side. We've got a Yushifu VMAX in there, Garbodor VMAX. Not gonna lie to you, these standard VMAX cards like this, I wouldn't say they're worth grading personally myself, but pretty cool. All Blastoise from Celebrations in a 10 as well, which is nice. Ah. Oh, this is cool, this is a promo. So in um, Remix out in Japan, this was in the set, so it's worth a lot more. Whereas this was a promo card here in the UK. It's a really nice one actually. In an eight as well, not bad. Pokey Grader are pretty strict actually when it comes to their grades. Oh, now that's a nice one. And uh, that's going to go down very well in some sales streams that we're gonna do. Cause I'm actually gonna be selling uh, a bunch of this collection as well, guys. I'm gonna be doing that over on Whatnot on some upcoming streams. So do make sure to go and drop me a follow over on Whatnot. And use my link actually down below. Uh, Cause you'll get 10 pounds worth of, 10 pounds worth of credit when you sign up to the platform and you make your first purchase. So, you know, you're definitely gonna help it out and you'll be able to try and grab some of the stuff you're gonna see today, basically. Uh, trying to do it before I go away to Japan. So check it out, links down below. But that though, that is a stunning card. And I don't know if I take the risk of a... I, re I like that a lot. I really like that one. We got a Piers in here from VMAX Climax. That's pretty cool. And a Gyarados from the Hidden Fates. That's the set one. Okay, not the promos. That's the actual set one. 
Okay, we got our last few slabs here. So we got a Butterfree VMAX again. Not one I personally would have graded myself. A Mew VMAX. Now that one I might have because this is actually quite a popular card. So that's quite a cool one uh, to grade, that's for sure. Uh, we've got the Gengar, very, very nice. Um, a lot of people reference this thing and what's going on and about it potentially being a banned card because of the woman's face and the positioning of Gengar. We have an alt art. Now, I own this alt art already, so I don't need it for my binder. So that one is probably going to be one that we do let go. And, oh, we've got some vintage here. Yes, there was some vintage in this place. I think we're down to it here. Let's a Fable in a nine. Ericus Fable. That's very nice. Gym. They call it Gym in Japan, don't they? It's not Gym Challenge and Gym Heroes. That is sick. That is really, really nice. I like that one a lot, actually. I think, uh, oh, I don't know, that's tough to know whether I even let that go because I like that. Dark Espion, that's nice. Gyarados, beautiful Misty's Gyarados there, like that. Another Blastoise in there as well. We've got an Arcanine. This is cool, this is a reverse Arcanine from Fire Red Leaf Green. And can you see how it's got all the energy symbols in the uh, pattern? Honestly, EX era reverse hollows just absolutely slap. They're so good. And the final big slab, guys. Oh yeah, that's right. A Charizard in a PSA 10. The shining, shine, was that shiny star V Charizard PSA 10. Now, I'm taking a risk. I actually am selling this, but I have one in grading at the moment with PSA, and I'm taking a risk that I'm gonna get a 10 on my one. Because if mine comes back a nine, and I end up letting go of the 10, I'm gonna be so gutted. So there we go, there were some slabs, but we've got some vintage product in here as well. So we've got an art set, as you can see here, of Emerging Powers Booster Pack. So we've got, I can't remember, what's it got? Tornadus. Uh, oh my God, I'm really bad here. What the hell are these names? I can't remember them at all off the top of my head now. Oh my God, Duramuka? Dura, 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 damn it. Anyway, a full art set right there. So there's some value right there as well in that art set. I probably wouldn't say this is worth opening as a set. This is something you would buy as like a sealed collection item, I would say. And then one of my favorite items as a sealed. Now there were two of these and I will let you know there are a couple of missing items. Reason being, I gave them away during my latest charity stream, which by the way, we managed to raise, including a whatnot sales stream, over three and a half thousand pounds for Rocking Horse Children's Charity. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you guys that donated to help support that incredible charity. They don't get government funding, so every bit of money we raise really helps a small charity like that. So honestly, massive props to you guys. Thank you so much. I just really appreciate you guys for that. But that's why some of the items are missing because I gave them away, including another blister pack. We had the Heart Gold Soul Silver one as well in here. So there were two vintage blisters in here as well. So you can talk about that when it comes to value. It's about 100 pounds for that other blister it went for us. Oh, and by the way, I just had a little thought around the giveaway. I'm just gonna give them both away. There you go. So we're gonna give these two slabs away uh, during this video. So yeah, like, subscribe, comment down below. Someone's gonna win. Now, we also got two boxes of cards. Now, I have had a look, obviously, and some of this is just kind of like some bulk stuff, which I'll give you a quick flick through. But we've got some stuff like these. Like these are all the Japanese Venusaur and Blastoise promos, which are really, really cool. I'm probably going to grade some of them as well, I think. The Snorlax as well from Sword and Shield. I think that's going to be quite a collectible card in the future. And a very cool... Pikachu promo. I'm getting kind of into collecting my Pikachu promos now, guys. So, uh, I don't know. That might be one I keep for my own collection. So, I think in here, guys, we mainly have, like, a selection of bulk from different eras. I think we've got Sun and Moon era, some XY, like some reverse. I always find that pose very strange on that Incineroar, don't you think? I think we got a little bit of vintage uh, bulk here as well. I think I saw some evolutions, but I feel like I just spotted something else. Yeah, look, we got some fossil, we got like the golem. Condition's a little bit worn. I think you find a lot of Watsy bulk. It's normally worn down, so we in there. Another golem from fossil. We've also got, look, a little bundle of Japanese vintage. And I think, I, when I was talking to him, he opened a pack and that's what one of those graded cards came out of. And this was the rest of the cards. So these are actually all gonna be 
pretty clean actually so they could be quite cool some like celebrations some v's i think in the back here so nothing too hectic however in this back part here i believe this is like promo cards let's have a look so yeah look at this we got this mewtwo we got this original Mewtwo uh, card right here. Look, it's even got the coin in it. However, I think we were looking, there might be a little dent in this corner, but I love the armored Mewtwo. Very, very cool. We got some more Ultra Prism. Rebel Clash promos. Okay, these are cool. Toys R Us promos. So we got the, what's that, Jagamo, Stuffle, Alone and Vulpix. That's very cool. We got Build-A-Bear Workshop cards. These are awesome, by the way. Look at these Eevee, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu. Look at that Meowth looking very happy. Uh, Jigglypuff, another Vulpix. Oh, the one earlier was Toys R Us. But check out those. They are awesome on their own, right? They are so cool. And they're all still sealed as well in their original cellophane. That's a nice item. All right, I think now I'm going to get into showing you guys through the binder. So let's, uh, let's get the camera off. Right, I realise now I'm getting the camera off. I can give you a little, little sneak peek. There's my camera there. There's my, my display. There's my little backdrop and my, my tiny little office. It's only small. It's only small, but it does the job, right? Anyway, into the binder. And once again, as I say, Voltex. We love Voltex, guys. The one and only. If you need a binder, you've got to go Voltex with them. But the zip one. I'd, I'd say the zip one. But anyway, first page. And we have lots of gold. I know this Magnum Basin is pretty popular. That's very nice in there. And I do like a gold card. Ooh, the Coridon. That's cool. That's a very nice one to have. Obviously, being one of the, first, the, the new legendaries, I like that. We've got some of the more modern fillers. So that's like an alt art right there, actually, the Iron Trade. Even though it's not worth a massive amount, it's still pretty cool. Guys, we've got a Mega Blastoise EX. That's a very nice card there. Got some more full art, some old Sun and Moon era full arts, a Zoroark GX. That's a promo, actually, that Zoroark. Okay, so we're getting on some cool stuff here. We've got some older EX once again. We've got the Mega Venus Source. We've got some Evolutions in here. We've got these um, uh, Jolteon, so some of the Evolutions. We've got a Tag Team down here as well, full art Tag Team. We know, guys, Tag Team cards right now, the values are just climbing. That's right, we've got a bunch of Japanese tag teams. So the Bratian, Charizard, Tyranitar, and Sableye Rainbow as well. Sun and Moonia Rainbows are starting to pick up in value. Like, people didn't really like Rainbows during the Sword and Shield era, but Sun and Moon era, they seem a lot more popular. We've got another Japanese tag team. We've got the Latias and Latios. Obviously not the big one. The one that's like 600 pounds. It's like nuts. The Magic Carp in there as well. The Whale Lord. I've got that in the English All Arts. A beautiful card. Snorlax looking beautiful along with the the uh, Snorlax is a set card isn't it I think was it a promo here in English or something like that I think it was and over in Japan it was from set so that's very cool we got the Venusaur and Snivy I'm definitely going to be grading a bunch of those cards that's for sure we got more Radiance we got tons of these amazing rares I think will end up being quite valuable in the future I think they're going to be very collectible so while they're cheap I'll be buying these up Oh, we got some nice celebrations cards in there. So clearly you opened quite a lot of celebrations, but why wouldn't you? Well, that was a great set to open, especially like with your kids and stuff like that. Like that nostalgia, right? Ooh, Garvador V, full art from uh, from uh, Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet? Mm -hmm. Scarlet and Violet. No. Yeah. Yeah. Why do I struggle with that? Like literally, Sword and Shield, Scarlet, yeah, Scarlet and Violet, got it right. Oh, the Dragonite full art from Pogo. Okay, that's a pretty cool card. That's got some value to it. We've got an all art, guys, and that's one that I need. So that one, I'm, 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 I'm taking it out now because that one's going in my binder. That was, that was going in my binder. I'm putting that safe. Okay, so we got some Fanaba full arts, and we've also got some Japanese. Oh, I love that card. It's so overgraded and stuff like that, but I really do like it. We've got some more full art trainers on this page. And look at that, guys. Even more full art trainers. But check out this card all night party how cool is that card that card is sick i also have these these are from the neo file i believe so you've got the fraligator typhlosion and meganium i believe they came out of a uh, file and if they're in good nick let's have a look they look clean guys they are definitely going for grading a little waifu action there with the Skyler. So we got some uh, older reverse hollows. That's cool. Look, we got reverse hollows, Delta species. Oh, that's sick. The Mewtwo 
We've got some more older cards. We've got the Hypno in there. Oh, that'd be interesting. I wonder what that's like condition wise. Let's have a little gander, shall we? Hollow looks pretty good. But yeah, was, was out. Yeah. Yo, check this Espion out. I actually have seen this one before. You'd be surprised. You reckon that would be worth a lot. It's not actually as much as you think. I think we're talking like 20, 30 pounds for this card. We got a band card here, guys. This is the band Misty's Tears, of course, because Misty's naked in it. It got banned. We got some more vintage Japanese and check that swirl out. Swirly boy. We've got some league cards, first place. Oh, the Eevee. That's a cool card, 20, 30 pounds for that, I think. Snorlax, I love these, but they're about five on those. The Dragonite's about a tenner, that's nice. Blaine, okay, nice. Oh, Cracked Ice. Yeah, Reggie Ice EX, very, very nice. This is a cool pattern to actually put in a set. Obviously, we're used to seeing it now in like theme decks, aren't we? But that actually was pulled from the set. You had to pull that. The condition is... Ooh, more vintage Lucario EX. We've got the oh, Gyarados. I love me a Gyarados. And that is a beautiful double swirler right there. What's the condition like? Come on. Excellent. <laughs> uh, mm, I wouldn't class that as excellent myself. And my doorbell's going. One second. Yep, just the family coming back. But we're back. We're back. Right. We've got these nice. Look at that. Pop series, Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon. That's cool. Now, this is some of my favorite ones in here. Look, we got this Shining Mew, which I believe, Shane was pretty adamant this was in good condition. So let's have a look. That is nice. And then here is the one I absolutely love. This is the McDonald's Charmander promo. Look at the artwork they did a pikachu a barbasaur and a squirt the squirt one is amazing by the way from this it's gorgeous but he said unfortunately it's damaged and i believe there it is look oh it's got fat crease in the top of it which is so gutting so going because i love it i'm probably going to keep it though and just have it in my binder because it's one i wanted to own because that's so nice we've got v maxes we got more v maxes here as well guys got the charizard we love it oh there's that snorlax i was talking about guys the first v max of course there was what four in the set three four in the set but that was the one that really stood out for me as one of the better v max cards from sword and shield we got some crown zenith in here oh we got another sylveon v max Again, a really nice one for an ace label. And look at that, guys. Three of the Pikachu full arts from Crown Zenith. These are really, really cool. I'm definitely sure we can find some nice homes for them. Along with that, look at that Mew, the Arcanine promos, and more training or well, Galarian Gallery cards. Oh, we got a God of War EX down here alongside the Ho Hoot, which is actually one of my favorite trainer gallery cards I've ever done. The design's cool, but that, that is very pretty. That is essentially an all art. Very nice. Ooh, that is a big card. The Mewtwo GX. I want to look at this. So if this card's in good condition, guys, there is actually some decent value to this one, even in Raw. Now, there seems to be a little mark on there, but does that... Oh, well, I don't know. That might be on there. I'd have to give it a wipe down, but how does the back look? Not bad, not bad. Touch off center, but might still get a 10. We got a lovely line of Charas over there. There's my boys and another one right there. We got some more gold right here as well. I really like these gold scene style cards like that. Shining Mat, Stormy Mountain. That looks really cool. So we got another one of the alternate art ones, the Spide Op. So that's nice with the glitter finish. Oh, and on this final page, guys, we've got an alt art, an Ice Rider Calyrex V alternate art. Again, another one for my binder. I'm taking that out now. And then right underneath it, the Szechuani. Yeah, they, they sweet in. Baby shiny, these are very cool. And if the condition is good, guys, you're talking good amount of value in a 10. And also, nice to get one in a good condition. That looks pretty tidy, you know? All right, so there's the collection, guys. But moment of truth, what did I pay? Well, I paid 775 pounds for that collection. What do you think? Did I get a good deal on that? Did I overpay? Did I underpay? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, those comments will get you entered into that giveaway as well to win those two slabs. So get commenting. Other than that though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to give it a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well over here. And come and check out my whatnot. Link in the description down below to try and get hold of some of these cards for yourself. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.